Hello everyone, my name is Kunal Dilip Kanekar and I'm a fellow Cisco Mike from batch of 2010 and 12. I have a work experience of eight and a half years of which seven years I spent with Cerebrus Consultant and for the last one year I'm with Ernst & Young in the People Advisory Services team working as an HR consultant. I have been in the consulting industry for the last eight and a half years as I said and worked across sectors in this interesting journey that I have had. About certifications, I think they help us stay relevant and also gives the opportunity to think deeper in some of the challenges that we face in the corporate world. The most recent certification that I've done is from Prosci and into change management of course, which is the hot topic right now in terms of how to deal with change, what to do with it. So I've got myself certified and I'm a certified professional in change management. One before that, I have done in train the trainers because I'm a trainer as well being an HR consultant so I've done multiple actually certifications in train the trainer to hone my skills and sharpen my skills as a trainer. Regarding professional courses, I have done one year part-time general management program from IIM Bangalore. After that I have done a certificate course in HR analytics from XLRI and after that I've done a certificate course on talent management from I am Ahmedabad and thoroughly enjoyed all the three. They have taught me a lot. About working from home, act responsibly. Act responsible towards both. One, your work and second, your home. Doing the dishes is sometimes as important as doing your presentation. And once in a while, do take a break. It helps you refresh, rejuvenate and get back onto it with full vigor. To me, motivation and productivity do go hand in hand. One cannot live without the other. And when it comes to motivation, there are certain basics which have to be kept in place. In my organization, the first one is communication. In today's times, it is important to be clear and transparent in what we're doing and my leaders telling that to my employees, which is fantastic. They are constantly informing about what's happening in the market, what's happening in company and allaying any fears that they may have regarding their job or insecurity. Second is of course they are hearing them out, listening to them and providing responses to them uh, in whatever forum that they may share those uh, you know, issues. This being said, the next important thing is that they are comfortable to work from home. It is the technological support which is very important in such times which they are doing seamlessly and they are very happy to work from home. All this said and done, the most important and basic point of productivity will be only once you trust your employee and provide them the necessary flexibility, especially when they're working from home. And if you have that, that's a good recipe towards a good productive and motivated workforce. Engagement in times like today is very important and my organization is going all out in ensuring that we cover all angles when it comes to engagement. We are connecting with our employees through multiple forums. We are having Fun Friday activities where the entire team comes together online and does certain activities and competitions which are not really about work. Beyond that, we are also having parties online. Can you believe that? We do have parties online as well to connect informally with our colleagues once again which we used to do in our days when we used to be at office but now it's not possible and also we are engaging with them on learning platforms where we have tied up with other institutes like HALT where employees could connect and learn at the same time which is brilliant. Post pandemic era is something which is very difficult to envisage and it's constantly evolving as we speak. We at EY believe in a model what we call as now, next and beyond. Now this beyond is what we are trying to work towards and essentially it's divided over a couple of areas which we need to look at. First one of course is the operating model. The operating models are going to change which are definitely going to have an impact on the three skills that you have in your workforce. So you would hence need to reskill your workforce and remobilize them in a certain way that you have never done before. This of course will have to be supported by technological needs and they will have to evolve as we speak. And once all this is in place, you will have to reimagine your cost structures and build an entire organization around the points which I just spoke. All this is coming our way. 
Well, when it comes to managing my LinkedIn accounts and my LinkedIn contacts, I look at it from a sales or a PR angle. Why? Because one, you need to be very diligent about it in terms of what process you follow in connecting with people on LinkedIn. Be very disciplined when whenever you meet somebody, immediately connect on LinkedIn, share your details in terms of what you bring to the table and what you're expecting from that person if there was any expectation. Why PR? Because I would want you to research about that person and what are the likes and dislikes are from a professional perspective. Read the pages that they have liked, like what they have shared. And also, and most importantly, engage with your LinkedIn contacts, not just when you need them, but engage with them when they share their views, express your views, and constantly stay connected, and not just the time when you need them for a job opportunity or anything, any work that you need them. Market dynamics are constantly changing, and so is it for the job market. But one thing which remains constant is the simple concept of demand and supply. The same thing works for job markets as well. One needs to stay relevant by constantly doing the plan, do, check, act cycle again and again for yourself to understand what is relevant for you and where you want to be in the long term. If you can align these two, then you got it right. From a hiring perspective, I think the gig economy is going to get stronger. We are going to see more contract based work. We are also going to see hourly contracts for employees in certain roles. There is going to be tremendous change in the way we work. So certain roles that we existed may not exist going ahead. As we can see, the technology is going to come stronger and some of the roles are going to be obsolete. Hence, your workforce planning will go a drastic change. There will be certain niche skills will, which will get higher value than others. And probably the demand for such roles, which are more technology oriented, is going to only go up. Live projects are great opportunities for learning. Not only do they give the students a perspective or a view into how a corporate world is, but they also give opportunity to the corporates to look at the students and understand how good or bad that student is from a hiring perspective. Today, when we are working virtually and the times are difficult, it is even more important for students to go out into the market and try to get projects. My only suggestion is do as many as possible. Don't worry whether the project is good or bad, just do it trying to excel in it, trying to impress your corporates with that. And the mantra is fairly simple. Show your knowledge, show your dedication and great attitude, and finally, excel. That's how you succeed. From a consulting perspective, I would say we like people who are good in communication, who have an analytical mindset or a solutioning mindset. And third, of course, they bring great attitude to the table. But giving the larger context in time of today, I would say the personality types that we would look for are people who are optimistic, who are fearless, and most importantly, adaptable. That's the key. Definitely a boon, but can be a bane if you don't approach it right. This is what my professor in IIM Bangalore taught me. One, he said, always say things which are positive. You never know, somebody up there might say Tatasu, that's one. Second is he said, whatever you do should be worship. It's, it's as if you're a gardener with no expectation of return. That keeps you at peace. And third is of course, whichever conversation you are in, whoever you are with, try to elevate the conversation. That will, these three things will keep you peaceful at heart. Past is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift and that's why we call it present. Both actually, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I'm a night person, sometimes I'm a morning person. If not HR, then probably something in the IT industry or as I've learned recently, something to do with cooking. The most fun thing about HR today is I think HR means business and that's very important. The opportunities I get to collaborate with business leaders and work with them in building people's strategies is just fantastic. Well, I do watch Netflix, but more of a board game person. You know, Ludo, business is something I like and also PlayStation.